Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning. First thing I do is measure how much you need. Get your tubing cutter. Cut it. Give it a turn. Tighten it down a little bit. Okay. Next step would be to uh, we're going to kneel this, make it a little softer. Burnsomatic torch. Gotta get this tube red hot to get a good needle on it. Okay, now you don't want to touch that, just let that set cool. Don't put it in any water or anything, and <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> it's worth stopping, then uh, we'll fast forward. Okay, so after about 15 minutes. Should be pretty cool down. Um, take a little dab of water and touch it to it just to make sure. But uh, the copper, it'll, uh, it cools down pretty quick. So the next thing you want to do is you want to clean out these ends. I think you can get burrs in here. Ridges built up. Usually on the side of your cutter you're going to have something like that. So. Okay, so have we've annealed this um, stuff is really pliable now. It'll bend really, really easy. Um, the thing you got to keep in mind: the more you bend this stuff, though, the stiffer it's going to get. So you don't want to work with it too much at first. Okay, so 
Next we'll move over to the, uh, the flaring part. Alrighty, so here's this piece of uh, quarter inch copper tubing that we just finished uh, cutting and annealing. Um, if you want to get some of this tarnish or slag, or whatever you want to call it, off of here, um, you need something like brass oil. Get an old rag and just uh, polish it. So I'm going to clean this up and then we'll uh, skip forward. Okay, so we just got the thing cleaned up to wherever you want it. Uh, got to put your tubing in your flaring bar. You don't want it sticking up too much. About right there. Okay. Flaring tool on. Okay. Let's see if we can get this out of camera here. You can see it's starting to flare it out. Okay, well that didn't work out exactly what I hoped. <laughs> so what could happen is, you see it started to slide to the, uh, the mighty grip of these, uh, this fine craftsman tool here. Anywho, so I don't think that's not soft enough. Let's try the other side, just to see what happens. Okay, I think I got a pretty good bite on there.
Okay, I'm having a little bit more success on this end. But sometimes that happens. You know, it wouldn't be unusual if you had to go back and then anneal it one more time. Okay. So we got it nice and smashed down in there. nothing to write home about but I think it'll work so I've been just using these uh, flare nuts as like uh, shades okay there we go Okay, so last thing we're going to do now is uh, make the bin. So, craftsman. So what we're doing is making a, a bunch of small bins. Because as this thing goes down, this bar here is going to get closer to that. So here we go. You see how it's starting to pull it down now? So what you got to do is back out. And move it out all the ways. Make sure you got it lined up. It just depends on how far you want this thing. How sharp you want that angle there. So you could have it point at an angle out or I'm gonna try to get it straight up and down. Oh. Okay, so what you got this far, you take your lead wires, and if you got uh, two wires like this, I'm going to twist these ends together, because we're going to have to push that through there. Um, 
if you're using single strand or one cable I should say this is multi strand um, this is a 24 gauge and that will fit yeah. plenty of room for two hours in there so what you're going to do is feed your wire through there Okay. Now, if you've got a bunch of LEDs laying around, you know, drawer full of parts or whatever, um, this is an old LED I pulled out of, uh, I think it was some kind of Halloween toy that broke or something. Anyhow, um, this is a color change LED, just something different. You can use anything you want. Um, I have a little board here that I use to kind of test them out. Anywho, so what you want to do then, of course you want to make sure this is all sealed here. You don't want any of these contacts coming in touch with anything. You get up here, take your wires apart. Now at this point, clarity is going to come into play. You have an anode and a cathode on here. And I believe the uh, cathode usually has a flat on the LED. But if you have one of those small button batteries, one and a half volt button batteries, you know, that should be enough that you could reverse the polarity without causing any damage to this thing. So, but it would have to be one of those small batteries. So the next thing you want to do is you want to hook your wires up. Here's the uh, white stripe as my positive or my anode. That gets soldered on there. That gets soldered on there. Well, actually, before you would do this, of course, you want to get some heat shrink for each one of these. I don't have any right now, so I'm not going to go through, through that part, but I'll show you what I did. Uh, I'll show you one that I've already made up. But anyhow, we'll solder those wires together, seal them, and everything's going to get pulled back until just this glued up bulb is sitting on the outside of here. And so, through the magic of a video, Here's the one I did this uh, yesterday. Same basic idea though. And so uh, I'm using the old uh, Pentium 4 power supply for my LEDs. Um, it's worth noting right here there's a uh, 100 ohm quarter watt resistor in that shrink wrap on one of the leads and I'm using a 5 volt 5 volts from this power supply because that's important if, you, if you're going to hook a, a 12 volt DC up to one of these uh, LEDs I'd probably go with at least a 1k resistor something to help limit the current even more but uh, for this 5 volts I'm using um, yeah 100 ohm one of those small ones right there just put it in line with your wires and of course you can use any LED you want but this <laughs> this is something different I guess
using the circuitry to do all this uh, change is already built into the uh, LED so you don't need to use any uh, transistors or capacitors unless you want to or something special I suppose anyhow hope this helps you guys out thanks for watching